they both went for the KO into the sky. So that's obviously going to be something else to think about. All right. Well, we've got some things to look forward to here as we dig into round number one. Rai starting on the attack. A bit of a split setup. Dart to try to make sure that anything middle will be deleted, but they actually do not connect on the alarm bot. So version one still have that tool available to make safe the middle of the map. Yeah, it's worth knowing we've already seen Shanks play Chamber a couple of times throughout this tournament. He used it on Bind against Sonic, so they won that game 13-1, as well as against Bind on Bind against T1, and they also won that game, but a lot closer, 13-11. So just to give you some thoughts, we see the attack coming to A here from Rise. Dual zero points coming out in version one. Zelsus um, just stayed alive inside of the Nebula until his time was called. Uh, yeah, it was almost importantly maybe too easy. Gravwell, zero point. Xander to check, gets the information he wanted, but it costs him just a little bit of a shield and his life. Not really too much gained nor lost outside of the information. Yeah, just information and some stalling with that fragment. And again, not really too much invested here for a rise. The headhunter is out for Shanks, but outside of that, some pistols at best. A couple of a bear, bear abilities spread out. Looks like they want to gather up for B Lobby. There is... A nano storm set up there, as well as Effie's holding the angle with the Spectre. Also, must note Penny's not too far away from rotating, and this all drone will come out, and that's going to slow Rise down as Penny takes over an angle on Link position. Hmm. And that actually causes that. Penny to back up to A because they didn't spot yeah, anything at say. middle, and that drone caught nothing either. So good hide from Rise, I guess you could say. But now they're going to double back, but there still is two players in a nano swarm to maybe try to slow this down. Zero point comes out. Nano Storm doesn't find anything but FEs! Activated for a triple. Whippy backside of the site. Low HP of poise. And the sentry turret might get the kill if he doesn't. Headhunter is at least allowing Shanks to deny another prime. Uh, players uh, against some of the international teams that they were playing there. Like had some big games against like New Turn and Team Liquid. And mm. he's carrying some of that form over into this year in this online qualifier. That's for sure. Definitely a bit of star for his squad. And not in such an important role, too. If you got a Sova, you mentioned it. Like, Derek on the other side is obviously one of those players you look to and be like, wow, he was one of the main reasons why Ryze popped it. Maybe the same thing could be said here for B1. Although, I guess we'll be caught trying to finagle with some utility. So with that, First Blood comes through. And now Ryze start to make headway into the B site. Waiting oh, behind the catch. play, though, is Shanks. <laughs> that's 30. A little delayed setup allows a chance for a free kill. And now Ryze can play Indeed, they can. They'll do so confidently. Four on two situations. Xander and Zelsa split up between market and back halls on this retake. Not a whole lot they're seemingly going to be able to do. It's just such good positioning from Rise here. They still have B lobby control. Players in the site, they have the numbers. This should be a done deal for Rise. We'll see. Xander starting to set up. Maybe just to play for exits, actually, honestly. The zero point will reveal one, but these star placements make you kind of think that these nebulas are there to maybe try to find kills on the exit. They do catch at least a look for a moment at Shanks. Neptune trying to get out, not able to. On the corner. That'll be about all that's found outside of Zelsus, who's able to take the last play. Mid control. Pick things off with their star placement. gathering of information you saw the fragment get pulled out by Zelsus's left hand would have been down with maybe a grab well the combo but not needed here not net recon bolt mid not gonna really see anything with that shock dart will be used to try to clear some traps mid and that will yeah. be successful so the defense has to stay planted but the problem is the offense is coming right into tree which is exactly mm -hmm. where an alarm bot and nanostorm are waiting and oh boy all three players start to walk into it fragments there to also follow up chip damage very successful they also isolate over poise now you've got more utility coming out from zelsis flashes and nades alike but cannot make anything use of a lot of the weapons themselves so with that we go 4v4 as the take comes in yeah take is coming in here derek able to find another entry xander though fighting back from down low good for two a third xander is just teeing off right now with this vandal inside the site neptune's gone down but could still be rezzed I have this so we get into this two on two situation area. spike looks like it could get planted but the recon position economy Lee, they're going to be able to just pull up a guardian and a marshal yeah not a whole lot to say about this round if your eyes when it comes to their investments looks like they might have a duel out towards the middle that two companies spotting each other but penny has oh, the bigger oh. sniper they'll get his kill and his dash away easy pickings for him well 
Again, winner of this moves on to the main event in February. Their qualifying journey is over, and that is a huge weight lifted. Join the likes of our former champions representatives. Got Cloud9, you got Sentinels, you got Envy, you also got 100 Thieves who got in through circuit points. They're all waiting. This could be our 15 to qualify coming from this match. Well, this is an interesting stack up. You've got a 3 2 split offensively for Rise. Again, not on great buys. And a Storm and Alarm bot come through. Effies, don't get caught out here. Uh oh. That isolates Whippy completely. Time for Whippy to get to work. Get to work. He will for just one. Not going to be enough. You would feel like Rise have a chance to possibly play, pull up a thrifty. Spike will be down. You are going to get the tour also coming through here for Shanks. This is a bold call, considering that everyone's going to be stuck backside arches. Yeah. And version one, they, I mean, you feel like you should play for this, but they're not making much headway at the moment. Yeah, they have a couple of stars and a zero there point, so they'll be able to spot them and get that and trap them back there, but. They're still going to have to get the frags with one person on spike, and when three just swarm that one, that's going to be tough to stop. Well, the dark comes through. Zelsus is not pulling off of this. It's all down to Xander. 1v2. Recon bolt will reveal. That's going to be Rise. Going to tie this thing up quickly. Well, an important round early here for round six. Blades are through for Penny. Effie is just stuck on the sheriff. Everyone else can at least full afford weapons. But for Rise. One of their first looks at a full purchase with ultimates to potentially use. Most notably, of course, the lockdown, but you've also got Derek, who is a mm -hmm. single orb away from Hunter's Fury, which would be immensely useful. And yeah, Rise clearing out wine there with a fragment, so they know that they have pretty safe passage into A lobby at this point. Defensive utility is well set up here, though, from Killjoy, as well as a couple of Astro Stars on that initial choke. So if Rise decide to push it there, they could be in for some trouble. They still have some presence at B with their own Killjoy as well as Superman playing over towards his side. So their options are still very much open, but they don't really have any mid-presence. Yeah. And uh, the defense hasn't been super proactive. I mean, they kind of have a forward angle over towards Tree on Catwalk, but other than that, they're kind of playing more back and maybe even having to play for a bit more of a retake depending on this attack from Rise. But again, if that A hit comes, there's so much utility there. And the time's running low. Rise needs to be careful here. Yeah. And the thing is, there's a lot of utility, but also two A rifles that are going to be here. Drone will tag out one. Xander backing away. Gravwell will slow. There go the traps. Alarm bot as well. Lockdown also in the mix. Whippy not in a position necessarily to deal with it. Penny's still kind of flirting on the outside, but Whippy and Xander. I love that call for version one just to stick onto the site. Knife comes down. It actually shuts down the owl drone. That may be more important than you would normally think if you're just casually watching. You've got no clearance now over towards wine. You don't know what's at the front door of arches. And so for Rise, now all of a sudden you're taking your one hero rifle over towards Tree, which has a bunch of traps waiting. Zero point will come through to kind of get in. Also the Hunter's Fury from there trying to clear some space over at least from the front side of A. Actually tags up poise a little bit on that last dart. But Rise still at least finds some way to entry for now. Yeah, and all command comes out to suppress the players over towards Tree, allow them to get into A. It's going to be yet again B1 looking to play retake here. They do have their own lockdown available to push out the site, force them back into A main or wine territory with that. That two might try to break it. Does it land? You want to fight it. it does not. No, two players detained. For a second, I thought maybe, but now Penny can walk forward and watch two players oh essentially sing. Uh, what's happening? Derek, though, in the corner. Heroics with this Guardian. Wow, that was. Probably the nastiest <laughs> single tap. It's probably the, na the yeah, the nastiest, <laughs> unfortunately Guardian not voice, impactful yeah. quad kill you've ever seen. Like it's unfortunate, really. What's cool yeah. though? Style points for sure. Pepe hands, find four headshots, still lose the round. On the street for FBs, hits once and twice. Shanks falls. No chamber on the floor for Rise to work with. Spike still lingering towards B, but uh, this is tough. You're already down to 60 seconds, and you don't have any map clearance hardly anywhere at all. No, not at all. They have a lobby control. That's it. They haven't been able to get up catwalk. They haven't been able to pressure over towards mid and market, which is, again, something I was hoping to see more out of Rise. Like, you had the Ash utility. You had different ways that you can threaten market, threaten, right. you know, gelato, and at least keep the defense guessing there. But 
V1 have been awfully comfortable on these retakes and these holds all across the map. He sees Delta's being pushed. He's not having any issues. Now Null Command comes out for him to suppress this attack. Limiting their utility to get into the site. Spots another. Oh! Super mid -map. And also the kills onto the site. It gets collected and returned to sender. Neptune still suppressed for another second. 1v3. Oh, two and a half. Still away to res Elsa's Elsa's now, too. Down. And there's the play. They're really looking to get it. The help is not necessarily there, though. Neptune will confirm the kill. Flash comes out. Comes around the corner. The spin. And they just unfortunately caught a rough timing on it. Yeah, and I think if, you know, retrospectively, you're probably just going to play the 2v1 next time around. Yeah. Kind of a greedy call for the res. But nonetheless, Rise, find another lifeline. It was a thrifty earlier. And then that 1v2.5, if you want to call it it. <laughs> Able to allow them to get to three. It's just a two-round gap. Effie's holding on to a shock dart. That'll be used with the gravity well, but the timing was not necessarily perfect. Yeah. So a second one will come through, and that will still chew away some of the health bar. Not too much. And obviously, the one's still low on weapon. Whippy trying to play with this frenzy in the corner, hoping they don't check. They kind oh, the of flash. don't. But yeah, even with the flash, it's too much firepower for Rod. But Celtics, it pity come up from V1. Devastating. And now it's the shoe on the other foot. <laughs> it's sure the Guardian is. for Shanks, and that's the only weapon they really have other than some sheriffs. Oh, man. What an unbelievable turn. So now, first pressure towards middle, and Penny does not expect it. So, okay. Hold on a second. Zelsus has to leave side to try to contest this weapon drop. And Supa has not grabbed it as of yet, but Zelsus is obviously still under threat. And with that, there's going to be a little bit of help. Try to double clear this. Unless he's backed up completely. Yeah, just trying to juggle the weapons back. And Zelsus will finally confirm Superman, who is completely isolated. Yeah, it's a tough exchange, but both teams still have a crack at this. A lot of Killjoy utility, though, as well as Astra. Star's position to defend this A attack. Hunter's Fury trying to pave a way forward onto the site, but look how wow, Whippy dude. just bold stays in the pocket to kill. And the Nano Swarm confirms for Whippy again, still holding backside generator on the spike site. Derek waiting for the peak. Deep and making a stand to buy time. Play, Set your play. team up on main event inches. It's Effie's gets rents there through the wall a little bit, but still standing. Horde of Force leads the way here for Rise, looking to attack into B site quickly, it seems. They have no other presence on the map. Our Penny's operator, by the way, is not here to try to counter out this tour. Gravity well. No command comes through. Doesn't matter. Zelsus just spams in the grab well. They also deal with Neptune. Not in a great spot to get collected. Zelsus to the desperate. That combination tied with Zelsus' utility, just, you can stall out teams really hard with the right timings and utility placement. And now that. Oof. Yeah. And now that, he says. Yeah, it's just, and again, the dynamic that. and proactive defense of V1 has been spot on. Now all of a sudden with that operator threat, Riser full rotating into the teeth of what has been Whippy on A. You've got the ability to cause a divide and lock down here. And obviously it's the last round of the half, so you're going to use all of it. So the lockdown comes first. Whippy's playing forward towards this. Now trying to get away, and oh boy. Actually does. does get away. That's actually massive that Whippy stays alive. Good fragment there from Zelsus to stop or delay the tree push and make them take damage even around having to deal with this Cosmic Divide. That's the thing that V1's been able to do so well is they kind of find ways to be scrappy with you even when you're using utility against them so heavily and forcing them back. They keep chipping at you. Looks like the retake's going to wait for maybe the Cosmic Divide to dissipate. They're going to use one of their own to try to sub and back over the spike site for their own. And with Ian and Nebula, good patience. That was up. Shanks. Boys can't get away. Neither can Neptune. Last one up is Supa. Nothing to find. Version mm. one. Now they get to be the ones dictating the pace on the attacking side. Looking to charge at me very quickly. Not wasting any time oh, getting man. in here. Look how forward that zero point was. They know they've got suppression pretty much all the way forward, but the fragment able to counter and then a little bit of a jumping. Shorty will allow a second elimination to come through, but Penny is trying to challenge this, and the spam through the nebula ties us back to a 3v3 situation. More information for Penny as they start to cross across the staircase. 
Xander as well, watching backside alley. Neptune finding some space to work with, but Penny says, I can jump around too. Like a House of Pain album starting to be put together here as we go 2v2. Celsus trying to play. A few upgraded pistols for V1 coming into this. Looks like they want to test the luck at A now. Early grab while trying to catch somebody out. Fragment, I believe, over the top as well that came out. Or it's just a zero knife. Just kidding. But hey, you mentioned it. They wanted to test it. Test it they did. Didn't fully commit. And I would say more importantly, Poised did not trigger any of those traps. So full defensive integrity still in place. Still in play, but at least they fainted that they could have taken wine control. That they still could be a lobby. They're actually leaving a couple of players there to create presence. In the meantime, they're also looking to cause a little bit of a ruckus at D. They're going to get the orb on Zelsus there, so building up his alt for later. And again, it's just them kind of maintaining awareness all over the map, and so it's making it to where Rise don't really feel comfortable rotating just yet. But again, as you noted, if they commit A, there's a lot of utility here to deal with it, and it seems to be where Rise is headed, so looks like this could mm. be very much a slaughter. Look at Neptune just holding on to utility, waiting for this call to come out. Zero Knife will connect in the backside. Boys not able to trigger too much at this moment. And it comes down to the gunfight. So Xander takes the first oh, and the boy. flash allows Penny to find a second. The problem is Shanks is still playing through tree left. and locks down the door, but it doesn't matter. Zelsus is still lurking for a play at B, and Rise are now realizing they've just been caught with their pants down. Indeed, they have. They have a couple of low health players as well with Shanks, though. Uh, Penny could be the same thing. He's got to hurry as well to try to get there and help, because right now it's only Zelsus inside the side. He's got no support whatsoever. He's just trying to delay as much as he can. Oh, he but a, a good kill. flash. It's a good flash, and then the right click. So, oh, you thought for a second Derek was going to fall. So now, Penny on the way over. You still have shock darts that could potentially delay. Second one comes out. Shanks misses the jump. He can't find the kill. And then Effie's around the corner. Now the recon bolt. It doesn't get dealt with. Shanks is going to get revealed and then tagged by the drone. Effie's using his utility to perfection, and they steal one away. And that's got to be soul crushing if you're Rise. Man, dude, all four of the rounds that Rise have gotten, you look at it and say, okay, cool, the next one coming up should be casual for you. And then it's not. <laughs> it's just, yeah. oh, man. I mean, outside of the one thrifty they had, that was not casual for them in the first place. But... Wow. You kind of just sit there and have a deep sigh and say, oh, man, what else do we have to do here? Because it's been heroics for version one so many times. My goodness, the tension. Big round here. Likely for V1, you'd imagine they're going to be gathering up towards B. No real utility or anything for Rise to use to contend against this, man. I mean, they're just hoping that Derek can somehow defend B alone. <laughs> yeah. They've gambled wrong. And again, to be fair, in a round like this, you kind of have to roll the dice, but unfortunately, they haven't gotten the numbers they needed. Hmm. No command will be spent here, just version 1-1, one, wanting to make sure they can lock this round up. Derek with the shorty could still be problematic, but only marginally. Zelsus, no problem for the first kill, just loses a little bit of health off of it initially. So now it's down to the hold. And Xander is at least thinking the right thing, that there could be a flank coming through mid. He would be correct. There's going to be two players coming this way eventually. And he at least will find the first. Aldrone also trying to scout things out from the defensive spawn. Shoulder is seen as Shanks tries to make a play forward to the headhunter. But as the spam shots come through, he's taken down to tragically low HP. Now the last player left alive is poised on this long flank. And well... Ooh. Well, we might want to finish that reload first. We might yeah. want to finish the reload with me. May or may not be a commitment though. May just be looking to create pressure and faint. Are you ready for this? Let's do some quick math at the end of that timeout. Okay. 36 of their 56 kills have been assisted. 65%. All right. Big. That tune going to find the entry here, playing the main archway. Line being cleared by the fragment. No one's home. This is a great start for rise i mean there's really nothing here for v1 they've lost a player they yeah. haven't really gotten any map control they're starting to get a little bit of mid presence though with whippy and they haven't really attacked this mid yet so this could catch the defense off guard a little bit who have no one watch this other than an, i think they might have some utility here it's like a an alarm bot yeah. or something a trademark yeah but it's not getting detected it's not no being triggered it's on the corner yeah so i mean you've got a 3v3 on site and your rotation here defensively is going to get cut off by whippy they're still in a good spot to fight this 4v5 
Flash has come through. Fragment trying to delay as long as humanly possible. The defense still has not moved for Rise. Oh my god, Whippy. And now you've got Whippy through. Uh-oh. No one's even watching back halls. He's gotten nope. past all the utility. This is... This could potentially be massive. Got one. Oh First my. kill's good. The thing about it is they have to rotate through this trademark. This very well may scout this play out. And it oh, also slows it down. The time is a bit of a problem here. Ten Eight seconds. seconds. Left. They've got to get on. Oh, and the double nearly comes Five through. Down, it's time. got time. Barely. Barely. One enemy so now it's super. 1v2. No utility to play with. Has to do this the old fashioned way. And well. <laughs> yeah. And there's a recon bolt behind this as well, keep in mind. So this is going to be very yeah. difficult, but if you want anybody, you feel like if it's Rise, why not Supa? Sees the first shoulder. Recon Bolt does not come through. Just make it happen with only a couple of seconds to spare on that plant. And now it's all down to this. Scraping the bottom of the barrel, it's Rise to get together to buy. But to be fair, those Guardians are real good now. Recovery time's oh, yeah. a lot faster and definitely do damage with it. They have a player that already. Poised <laughs> is up there. Already. Well, they check this position from poised. You feel like that's going to be a huge, wow. you know, variable in their success. A lot of utility comes through. This Kazi divide blocks off top heaven. So you have to feel like they're going to check. But the Aldrin actually does not make it through the nebula. It gets deleted beforehand. So no information for version one means they cannot fully commit this confidently. They have pulled out nope. the null command though. Yeah, there's four defenders already here. They've stalled this attack very well at the initial choke point with Fragment, with some of their other utility. Shanks is now here with the Tour de Force. I mean, it just seems like suicide if you want to try to go into this at this point, but they have no other presence on the map. They're having no. to worry about getting flanked through middle. Like, they, they are in a little bit of hurt right now. It seems like they're going to have to commit. And, I mean, again, it's going to take brute force now to break this A open because they haven't done anything else anywhere else on the map. Well, you do have a hunter here to try to left. open up at least part of this site. Oh, the tour of the force. I was going to say for a second, Shanks looked like he was a little bit unconfident if he wanted to still hold here. But at least does take down Penny. So now 3v5. We've seen worse odds for V1 that they've been able to succeed. The problem this time is the Guardian of the tour had just too much to deal with. Xander will just let this round fade away and likely just save. Left. Yeah, the problem is, it's just all the eggs of V1 were in the one basket. Now it's trying to let, attack into this A site, but again, just so much counter utility from Rise. Never allowed them to get safe passages to take and retake areas, so let's see how it plays out. Defensively, it's a passive setup around the A site in favor of stacking more numbers mid for Rise, including the operator of Shanks, who has been peeking there almost exclusively. Poise now caught out, and oh boy, caught out indeed. First two no kills come through cleanly for V1. No lockdown, like you mentioned, which means that you've got a Hunter Sphere to secure this post. They didn't line. even use it to take the site. So V1 yep. have it to hold off the retake. This is rough. Is. It sure is. So now Shanks <laughs> trying for something miraculous. It will not happen. On the other front, the wall bang does confirm a lot of damage from V1. Xander of late flank denies any play through tree. Up top at glass, nothing there. 